So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this interactive documentary called The Cronulla Riots. Um, it's a really beautifully built out um, web page that takes you through the untold stories of the racially motivated riots that occurred in Sydney, Australia in 2005. And as you can see um, by the beginning web page, it tells you what the project is, and it says go beyond the media headlines with SBS's interactive experience. And then you can um, click begin. So in this first part, I really like um, the aesthetic, but it's a little confusing why they chose to include with a 100% statistic. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the volume for this part, but basically it starts the documentary and you get some of the context behind the riots um, and voices from the Lebanese community in Cronulla who were targeted, which is really important, I think. And then, as you can see from the page, it's really well organized. You can kind of go through the documentary in segments, um, like a web series almost, but much easier. So this is chapter one, it gives you the context. And then this is chapter two. And most of the sections start out with this little um, written piece that tells you what part of the story you're in. And then you click the arrow, and then it goes into the video element. What I really, really like about this documentary is that you can track where you are and you kind of have the autonomy to choose where you want to go so you're not stuck in one section. Like you could go to fueling the fire or a, a dangerous aftermath to learn about that um, segment of this event. I also really like that it includes elements that you can kind of go off of during the documentary. So for example, if you had a question about um, this guy who's speaking, you can go here and you can click the about me icon and then it'll actually take you to um, a page about him so you can learn more about the speaker and um, his connection to the riots and why um, he matters in this story. And then you can easily click back to the documentary and it takes you right back where you were so you don't really have to go and search through the web page again and restart the experience. Um, it also offers um, questions along the way. So it'll ask you, do you feel like you have been targeted because of your race? And if you feel that yes, you have, you can click that and it'll sh show you um, how you compare to other users. And I really like this interactive element because it um, it really makes users feel a part of the issue and invested in it. And I think you can understand the riots in a new way by like putting yourself in these people's shoes. Like what would it feel like to be targeted in a place that you call home? So say you finish the documentary um, and you want to examine other elements of this website. You can investigate the right themes. And while I really like the idea behind this page, as you can see it's these little um, diamonds and then you can click on them to learn more. So for example, if you wanted to investigate racism and how that was a huge part in the riots, you could click on this theme and then you can kind of follow the lines and learn about different elements. Um, while I like the idea behind it, I do think it's a little confusing for first time users. Um, having to follow the lines is just um, not really aesthetically helpful. And I feel like people can get lost and not really get the full value of the information because they're trying to figure out um, how to use the web page. I don't think this is very intuitively designed. 
Um, but again, I do really like the idea behind it, and I like that they do include these different themes, so you can kind of look at the riots at a different level, not just what happened, but maybe the reasons behind it. Or, for example, they will interview, um, like, sociologists or um, professors who can give insight into what led to these tensions and um, ultimately this racism. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and return to the documentary to look at another element of this that I also really liked. Um, map the riot events is a really interesting part. So you click on it. Sorry. And it says right here, in this map, close to 400 events from Volume 2 of the Strike Force Neil report have been plotted against a map and can be accessed through a timeline. Um, so this is really interesting because it shows you the scope of the event. So you might hear about the riots and understand that they're really significant, but this actually shows you how many events happened, and it gives you like a, the detailed police report behind them. So you can click through them and see, for example, that um, a group of Lebanese males were targeted outside of a mall. Um, or a group of Middle Eastern males um, were involved in a brawl that um, white Australian nationalists um, incited and attacked them with. Uh, so I really like this element because, again, it's interactive and you can really go through and understand the scope of the event. So I hope this gave you um, a good overview of this project, but overall I think it's really beautifully done, really, really great design work, and it really is compelling in its storytelling and allows the user to understand the Cronulla riots at a really, um, at a level that you wouldn't understand just by looking at newspaper headlines. Uh, yeah, so that is my review.